Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, the fourth battle in the Five Dooms is here. It's against Atomos. Um, yep. Let me see what I gotta do. I can do all that. Alright. So, you're gonna notice I'm using Zell and Ida. Uh, I'm using them to plow through the Final Fantasy VIII event, and they're gonna be present in the Ultimate and Ultimate Plus. And I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna switch them out, so I'll just deal with a low-leveled Ida and a not even max-leveled Zell. Uh, cause I'm just lazy, that's just, that's just what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to take with me? Oh, you know what? I think I gotta take, uh, I gotta take Mog Dance with me, cause I don't have a support character, so. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Ida doesn't die. Come on now. I'd love it. The bar's full. You can see that the bar's full. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Sometime this year, please. Alright, let's go, bitch ass. Look at his mouth! Look at that square mouth! Alright, he's gonna blast up Doom. Yeah, that's okay though. I uh, should have opened with Mug Bloodlust. That'd have been smart. An arrow. Wall. I'll have Ida use Mog Dance. I probably should have had her do that to begin with. Like I said, with uh, with the whole Ash thing, it's supposed to be a challenge. I'm supposed to challenge myself with this. And I'm not even supposed to really have them in this fight, but I'm lazy. I don't want to switch them out. So, we're dealing. Whore! God damn it. Okay. Hopefully Vaughn doesn't die, because I kind of need him to be alive. You seriously gonna target Vaughn? Alright. Round two. That was just bad luck. I'm not spending a Mithril for refreshes. I'll just do, I'll just do without, uh, Mog Dance. Or maybe I'll get it, we'll see. Or I could just take with me, uh, Ethereal Pulse. Or, no, I can't, because I gotta, what do I gotta reduce? Um. Oh, I can do... <laughs> Both of that is, um, Arc Blast, so perfect. I didn't, I didn't really mess out on much with, uh, with that thingy. Alright, this time Ida's gonna be the one that does it, so that I don't get my face wrecked by Atomos' square mouth. Okay, I'm gonna battle speed 5 at the beginning here, just so I get max ATB. Because otherwise the bump would have been much lower. I could have done it more for Doom of Atomos, but whatever. Of course, Eat is going last. I should have done my blood last time. I'm messing up. All right, at least we got uh, a much earlier wall. Does Comet ignore resistance? I'm pretty sure it does, because it wouldn't have dealt that much damage otherwise. Come on, third pulse. Alright, thank you for hitting Zell and not Ishtola. Alright, we should be fine.
That's gotta ignore resistance because that's a little too strong for such a little uh for such high defenses, I mean. But that's why I got shell, because if something can it it's possible for for an attack to ignore a status, but that's usually for like Ultima Buster or some shit. If it ignores resistance, chances are it does not ignore shell. So I was on uh I was on the I was on Kong Back Pal's website, and I was I was on a, I was on the chat thingy, and I think some people are surprised with the fact that I'm mastering Ultimate Pluses without Shout. Just because, just because Shout's really good does not mean it's mandatory. I, Shout is probably one of the most overrated relics in the game. You really don't need it as much as people are saying you do. Um, like I'm making do with like a lesser Shout, and even then I'm challenging myself in some respect. So like. Just because everybody else is rushing after it does not mean you need to do the same. That's the biggest tip I can give some people. Just because other people uh, need to use it as a crutch does not mean you need to. And I'm not saying they're bad, people that you shout. I'm just simply saying it's overrated. Now, by all means, get it if you can, but like... Because it is a good relic, it's just overrated. So if, if you can get it, and you do have it, by all means use it. I'm just saying, you know... I'm just repeating myself at this point, but you know what I'm trying to say. And I'm, I'm expecting to get some people calling me out, like people, I'm sure, I'm sure a few people from the Reddit watch my videos, but you know what. I don't really like the Reddit anyway. Uh, a lot of the people there are mean. <laughs> so I don't really care for what they have to say. And I, I frequently avoid the Reddit because, uh, most of your posts just get downvoted anyway. So, and most of the people there on Reddit, most of the higher rated people, are all people who take the game way too seriously. Generally. Um, so. I'll still use it for information, like, I'll still use the spreadsheet for, like, soul breaks and stuff. Because there is good information in that, and I don't mind looking at that, but, like... I generally stray from posts, because I, I, I just do, I just don't like, I just don't like, you know, doing it, so. Should've done Meteor Crush, that would've been the better move. Did I use Addle? We're about to use Addle. Ow, that hurts. I'm so glad that Combat King is instant. That makes things easier. That damage is deliciously looking. This is pretty much proof that you don't need the full... That, that like, you don't need all three pieces of the Trinity. Because, in fact, right now I'm only using the one. But, uh... You know. It'd be much easier if I were using it. All right, Meteor Crusher. Pretty much, I'm kind of just proving that uh, you don't need half the relics pe uh, people on like Reddit or whatever say that you need. Because like, I don't use Gilgamesh, you know. I don't use Shout. I don't use anything too extraneous. It's really not all necessary. As much as people say it is. And I'm saying all of this right now while busting through this boss like it's nothing with my A-team. But I'm, I'm gonna s try to start phasing out my A-team with, uh, with this, uh, actually this Final Fantasy VIII event because I feel like it's getting boring watching. I'm gonna try to mix it up with this Ultimate and Ultimate Plus by using a Final Fantasy VIII team. I'm gonna try at least. I'm sure I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna get pissed off and just switch my A-team anyway. We still don't have the goddamn thingy. We still don't have a uh, Ida's soul break, and I want to use it this round, this fight. I mean, because I don't even know what it looks like. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's new, so I don't think no, I don't think many people know what it looks like. It's probably be easier if uh, Zell and Ida were max leveled. Oh, that's gonna hurt. See, that's a problem with uh, the damage taken thingy, the for the for for, uh, for metals, because you know if a boss uses like gravity based stuff, 
then you can't negate that damage unless you use, like, instant KO resist stuff. Please don't kill him. Oh my god, what does that do? Oh, that looks so evil. Oh, we're fine. I think Zell's gonna get the kill. I don't think we're gonna see it. Damn it! The bar was almost full! Alright, whatever. We'll see it during the Final Fantasy VIII event. Um, Alright, that's a Tomos. Not much to worry about, really. I mean, the gravity attacks are a bit of a bitch. And I still fully mastered it. And Nita was at level 56. Alright. I'm behind as hell on my uploads. I got like five fights to upload, so, uh... I'll probably upload them overnight while I'm napping, so... Uh, I guess for now, I gotta bounce. I got nothing else to talk about, so, uh... I will see you guys later. Good luck with the Tomos, good luck with polling, all that stuff.